This week on Dean Partridge's Canadian Whitetail. We're going to cut this short. That's a target buck. He's about 100 yards right in the field, and I've been talking. So I'm going to set up the Ozonics quick, and we're going to get ready. He's headed this way. Southern Alberta Badlands are one of the last places that you'd expect to find trophy whitetail. But like in most areas of North America, if you put your time in and you look hard enough, you can usually find some pretty good deer. And that's what we're running this week with team member Mr. James Place in the Badlands of Southern Alberta. We're just getting ready to stab a blind in. I've got uh, behind me here at about 100 meters, 120 meters, I've got the river where the deer bed. Small little alfalfa field here, maybe 40 acres. It's kind of a staging area in this area. They're using this fence line. It's a quick jump to cover, or they'll come through here. This bush behind me is about 50 to 70 meters wide. I've got a trail cam here. I'm catching a couple of nice bucks. So we're gonna dump a blind in here, in this heavier stuff, not on the field edge. Kind of as a feeder corridor. So everything kind of feeds into this area. So that's where we're gonna stick this blind. It's gonna, it's gonna disturb the area, so we're a little bit early here today. Uh, we'll stick it in and see how it goes. Okay, we just finished uh, brushing in this blind here. We got it looking pretty good. Once the leaves and stuff dry, it's gonna change appearance, but it looks good. It's in the shadows in here. Three trails converge right in this central area. I've been getting some good pictures here in the field, so I kind of think they're using this, but time will tell and hopefully it's a good blind. With James being set up and having done his scouting for the split brow buck, it was now opening day and time to get in and hunt. Early season, the first day, the sun shining and an entire fall full of excitement ahead of James. He heads into the blind that he's set up for the double brow buck. It's early in the season, we've got three months. I've got till the end of November, archery goes to the end of October and then rifle opens up here, so lots of time. And looking in the field, there's a big deer. No kidding. No kidding. We're gonna cut this short, that's a target buck. He's about 100 yards right in the field and I've been talking. So I'm gonna set up the Ozonics quick and we're gonna get ready. He's headed this way. Yeah, no kidding, that's, that's a double brow, big five. We often say to be as ready in the first minute of your hunt as you're going to be in the last minute. But I don't think anyone expected the double brow buck to be in the alfalfa just seconds after getting in. It's been about 10 minutes. He's about 35 yards just on the fringe of this bush, but he just kind of sits out of the wind and he's just eating out here. It's got me pumped. All I need is for the stars to align. As James gets settled, he begins to have more encounters with good young bucks, including this small fellow that seems to be just a bit curious. It's been a couple couple hours now. Two different ones came into this setup. On the other side of the fence there, I've seen four more. They were all young guys. He never showed up. I don't know if he crossed the fence, went back to bed. Rain's coming down pretty good. I was excited. I was really excited. 
till another hour. This blind's really tough though. With this overcast and rain, it's gonna cut my cut my night short. James has a close encounter with his target buck, but it doesn't pan out. Now that can be hard, but it just adds to the motivation to get back in the very next day and try again. Okay there, <clears throat> I'm all set up. Um, I didn't take anything out for supper tonight. So I'm in dire need of some fresh back straps. Can't really see it very well, but again, he's out in the field. He's right in front of those hay bales. Put James's target buck out in the alfalfa again early in the evening. A young buck slips directly downwind, putting James's ozonix to the test. And lucky for James, the buck carries on, not suspecting anything and not blowing his hunt. Well, it's still looking okay. I just had that little buck come through and they, they're all coming downwind for me tonight. They should be coming through the field, but they're coming from behind me. Last I seen my target buck, he was by those hay bales. Frustrated by another unsuccessful close call, James decides to make some changes and pinch up, hoping to get within bow range of his target buck. Back in this corner um, is where I've got my blind. It's probably about 20 meters in there, 20 yards. What I'm planning on doing today, and I don't usually do it, I'm gonna take a ground blind. Uh, they seem to not wanna be crossing there where I thought they would, so I'm actually gonna stab in a ground blind behind these hay bales. Pretty risky, I'm not gonna brush it in. The blind itself is very similar in nature to what the bales look like, so I'm gonna take a big gamble, hoping they're actually gonna come out to the field like they've been doing here for the last week. If they do, hopefully uh, have an opportunity here at uh, the target buck that I'm looking for. I don't know, I've never tried just throwing a, a blind up. I don't think it's even staked down very well, but I don't plan on leaving it here, so just a bare blind stuck in right beside two bales. I figure they'll, they'll make the deer at ease until maybe they get in front of me and then I don't know how they're gonna react. But I'll get ready here anyways. I don't really have the best of wind. To be honest, I don't have any wind. It's like, I think they say it's three kilometers. James, now settled into his new blind location, is about to learn a hard lesson in patience. As his target buck is just 35 yards from his original location, broadside, a mere three yards from his spy point trail camera. A big deep body, long beams, with the sun shining off of him, James gets a good look at just what a beautiful mature deer double brow is. Another gorgeous heavy young buck makes his way to the field, a deer that if let survive has all kinds of potential.
wow, what an exciting night. I've only sat for an hour. That five by five that I'm chasing, he went by my other blind tonight. Just my luck. Then there's a six by five. I filmed him and he's pretty young deer. He's got great potential. Like it always seems to happen that one day that James moves from his original location. Well, he checks his trail camera that night and his target buck was a mere 20 yards from his original blind. To add insult to injury, the spy point trail camera shows that when Double Brow left the field, he was easily within shooting distance of his original blind, where James should have been, and you can bet he's going back to you. There's a blind I was in Saturday night when he walked through here. Never quite worked the way I wanted it. See what happens tonight. Again, early in the evening, James is covered up in bugs, but this time being back in his original location was about to pay off. The double brow buck had made another appearance, this time close, on the route that James had scouted, and is closing in fast. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. We talk a lot about brushing your blind in so it matches its surrounding and leaving your windows open, how you're gonna hunt. So it doesn't change when you're there hunting to those deer that walk by. But before that, there's a whole step that needs to be taken. The fourth floor is a mess of vegetation and leaves. All that creates a lot of noise, and if you pop your blind up in it, you've got to deal with that noise in your blind. Cleaning all that buck brush out, the old dead leaves and all of the grass. Well, it comes time to hunt, whether that's in two days or two months. Inside of that blind will be whisper quiet, and when that deer's walking by, and when you have that chance at that buck of your dreams, well, you're not going to spook him with some noise from your feet. It makes a big difference, and it's one of the most important steps that we take in setting up every blind that we do. When you take the few minutes to make sure that the floor of your blind is clean and quiet, well trust me, that makes a world of difference come time to hunt. And that's your Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. Welcome back. Before the break, James's target buck had made an appearance and was now broadside at under 20 yards. really really good some bubbles and lots lots and lots of blood here we go there's blood that's what I figured he uh, he jumped the fence here 
Here we go, buddy. I see legs. There we go. How's that for Southern Alberta? Deer, look at that boy. This is a, a buck, like I've mentioned, uh, call him split brow buck, um, obvious reasons. Been watching him about three years now. He'll be five and a half, maybe six and a half. We'll have to, have to age him. Real nice, long main beams. Um, this is what you're gonna get for the Badlands. These poor deer just don't, don't get a chance to get probably more than about three and a half years old, four and a half if they're lucky. Very flat land, lots of agriculture. When it's all stripped down, there's not, not much for them to hide in. Nice gnarly bases, love the split brow. Main beams are great. Beautiful old buck. Rest in peace, big fella. I like it. Sometimes the frustrations of having multiple close encounters not pan out when hunting a specific buck can just make the eventual success that much more enjoyable. Congratulations James on a fantastic deer from a very unique part of the Whitetails world. Thanks for watching this week's Canadian Whitetail. For exclusive content, follow Dean and the team on Facebook as well as on Instagram and Twitter at Whitetail Dean. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, visit CanadianHuntShop.com.